uh, uh, Mario, can you please sit on your chair and not jump on your chair? Yes, sit down, please. Sit down. Sit. G Giselle, will you stop pulling, please, um, uh, Pietro's hair? And no, Sara, stop crawling under the table, please. Let's just all make a nice big circle. And no, not a circle over there, a circle here. No, that isn't a circle, it's a triangle. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Classroom management. <laughs> I think it's one of our biggest challenges for teachers, classroom management. And we probably spend more of our time actually managing our classes rather than teaching them. Oh, hello, I'm Miranda and I teach young children English as a second language through drama. And I wanted to share with you a really quick and simple drama activity that will help you focus your students get them all standing in a circle really really super quickly get them engaged get them playing having fun and reviewing language and it also this particular activity helps your students grow their self-confidence and their comedy skills too so let's get to it all you have to do <laughs> Once you do get your students actually standing or sitting in a circle and not jumping on the chair, please. There, Mario, come and make a circle. Get them sitting or standing in a circle and you're going to have one student standing in the, sit in the center or sitting in the center. And their objective is simply to make the other students laugh. In fact, this activity here is called Make Me Laugh in 30 Seconds. So your other students sitting or standing around in the circle, they are going to count to 30 with you. And the student in the center, he has those 30 seconds to make the other students laugh. So he can do anything or she can do anything that they want to do apart from <laughs> hitting somebody on the head. <laughs> they, can't, they can't touch the other students. Okay, so that's important. But they can do funny faces. They can pull funny faces uh, and make funny uh, actions anything that they want to do to make the other students laugh before they reach 30. So you can start with your students counting one, two, three, four. The student in the center has to go around trying their best to make another student laugh. It's a great game, especially if you've got those jokers in your classroom. You think this is a great opportunity that you can now in a focused and controlled way to make them really use their comedy skills to make other students laugh. And you're also getting the other students to practice counting up to 30 and waiting for the student to make them laugh. If he does make a student laugh, you stop the game and that person who laughs, that student who laughs, then takes the place of the student in the center, who then you start again, counting to 30 and that student in the center then has to make somebody else in the circle laugh and the, and the game carries on. Now, if it happens, that it's, it's really quite funny this because you, you have all your students all laughing away, all laughing away in their normal classrooms. Then when they play this game, it's like, oh, I've got to be really serious. Mm, I mustn't laugh, I mustn't laugh. So it's quite fun in that sense as well. If um, your student in the center is unable to make another student laugh in the circle um, in that time limit of 30 seconds, then you can give them a forfeit, a forfeit of something that they have to do, which could be, for example, they have to hop around the outside of the circle um, singing happy birthday, or they have to have uh, 10 seconds of being an animal on the floor. It could be a monkey. <laughs> or it could be a lion, anything that you want to do. A forfeit of 10 seconds, let's say, that they have to do because they weren't able to make somebody laugh, okay? <laughs> so it helps them grow their confidence in the circle. It, help, it helps also counting practice and it gets your students focused and playing drama game. So <laughs> I hope your students have fun with this. I hope you have fun with it too. And until next time, remember, be theatrical.